hello friends once again i will welcome to all of you in our lecture series which is based on your frequency modulation so dear students in our previous lecture we talk about the definition of the frequency modulation and also we discussed various definitions related with your frequency modulation in our today's lecture we are concentrating on a new important topic and name of that topic it is mathematical representation of fm wave so how fm wave itself mathematically represented that part we are discussing number today's lecture so Uh, after just watching this video lecture you are able to derive the mathematical expression or the mathematical representation of frequency modulated wave so let us start with the concept so before moving to mathematical representation let us recall the definition of frequency modulation so while defining the frequency modulation we can say that frequency modulation in the frequency modulation we are changing the frequency of the carrier with respect to the instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal so as the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal goes on changing the carrier frequency itself it is changing so uh, while keeping phase and amplitude of your carrier constant so in one statement we can define frequency modulation as the modulation in which frequency of the carrier gets changed with respect to instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal by keeping phase and amplitude of the carrier constant so this is nothing but your definition of frequency modulation now our basic aim of this today's lecture is that we want to derive the mathematical representation of fm how this fm wave can be mathematically represented so we know that in fm there is constant amplitude so whatever the amplitude of the carrier it is constant so in fm amplitude is constant so constant amplitude but frequency it is changing so there is always change in frequency of carrier so these both terms are related for the carrier so in frequency modulation amplitude of the carrier remains constant frequency it is changing right so it is changing with respect to instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal so when amplitude of the modulating signal it is zero there is no any frequency change in the carrier but if the amplitude of the modulating signal that is instantaneous value is changing so automatically frequency also changing of your carrier so at peak amplitude of the modulating signal frequency it is maximum at peak negative amplitude of the modulating signal minimum frequency we are observing so we can say that frequency it is changing continuously now one more term we have to discuss here is nothing but the angular frequency so dear students angular frequency it is always represented with the symbol omega so mathematically we can write the equation omega is equal to 2 pi f so uh, omega is nothing but your angular frequency or angular velocity while f is nothing but your linear frequency so uh, whenever we are calling 
frequency as a f or labeling frequency as a f always keep in mind that it indicates a linear frequency and if we are representing the frequency by omega then it is angular frequency now whatever the angular frequency in your fm so if the angular frequency in fm is omega then this omega is the function of two different angular frequencies that is carrier angular frequency and your modulating signal angular frequency so we can say that omega is the function of angular carrier frequency and modulating angular frequency so these two terms that is angular frequency of the carrier and angular frequency of the modulating signal decides or very important part while deriving your the uh, representation mathematical equation for your representation of a frequency modulated wave now the first statement we will note here regarding your frequency modulation is nothing but efm so frequency modulated wave is represented by so frequency modulated wave is represented by efm is equal to ec sin of function of omega c comma omega m so i will give equation number 1 for this statement so fm wave is represented by mathematically efm is equal to ec sin function of omega c omega m or we can write this equation as ec efm is equal to ec sin of theta of t give equation number 2 so if we compare these two equations we can say that theta t is equal to function of omega c and omega m so it is now your equation number 3 so in first equation efm is equal to ec sin function of omega c omega m in second equation efm is equal to ec sin theta of t so according to this equation number 1 and 2 we can write theta t is equal to function of omega c minus uh, sorry omega c comma omega m not minus omega c min uh, comma omega m right now from where we have derived these equations so to understand these two concepts that is theta t is equal to function of omega c omega m we have to draw some vector relations over here so suppose this is your ec vector so this vector indicates a carrier vector ec so suppose at time t equal to 0 this vector has this particular position now when the time gets changed so suppose at time t equal to 1 this particular vector changes its position with angular velocity omega right so whatever the angle created between these two vectors so initial at initial position at t equal to 0 and later on at t equal to 1 this angle is represented by theta t right so as we know that ec sin theta of t is your rotating vector right and 
if omega is constant or this particular vector is rotating with a constant speed then we may write at theta t is equal to omega t but we know that theta t or omega t is not a constant velocity or a constant frequency value uh, ye statement hum kyun kar rahe kyunki hame malum hai ki frequency yahan pe continuously change ho rahi hai so uh, there is always change in frequency so frequency is uh, no change we are observing here then there is minimum frequency then maximum frequency then minimum then very less frequency we are observing here so frequency it is continuously changing so if the frequency is continuously changing whatever the statement we have made that is theta t is equal to omega t ye applicable nahi ho payega so that's why uh, ye kab applicable hota tha jab hamari angular frequency or change in frequency of your frequency modulating signal ye agar constant rehta tha but the frequency it is continuously changing so that's why we can't say that theta t is equal to omega t so first of all we have to write the mathematical equation for the angular velocity of fm so our next step is that we will note down the angular velocity equation for fm so angular velocity of fm can be written as omega is equal to omega c 1 plus kf em cos of omega m t so this is the equation for angular velocity of fm omega is equal to omega c plus 1 plus kf em cos of omega m t so i will give equation number 4 for this statement right now my next motive is that i want to calculate theta t so what is theta t why i want to calculate theta t because for deriving the mathematical expression e f m is equal to e c sin theta t so if i know the value of theta t we can easily write the equation for frequency modulated wave so our next motive is to calculate theta t but we know that theta t is nothing but the function of omega c and omega m and as per this particular vector diagram we know that if i want to calculate this particular theta t and if theta t it is continuously changing so suppose that t equal to 1 here we are observing theta t so at suppose t equal to 2 the theta t is different at t equal to 3 theta t is different so for uh, every instant of time theta t it is continuously changing with respect to this Uh, angular velocity so if i want to calculate theta t i have to integrate all angular frequencies so that's why the equation must be theta t is equal to integration of omega dt so if i integrate all angular frequencies or angular velocities of fm then i will get the exact value of theta t so with respect to time so our next aim is that so we have written the equation theta t is equal to integration of omega dt now substitute the value of omega as per equation number 4 here so as per the equation number 4 if i will substitute the value it becomes omega c 1 plus kf e m cos of omega m t 
and dt as it is right so i will just use the integration rules here so omega c it will come out of the integration sign so 1 into dt then plus k f and e m also come out your integration sign cos of omega t omega m t dt so if i will solve it So, I will just draw a bracket over here. Okay. So, it becomes omega c. So, 1 dt means it is t. Plus. Now, kf em. Now, integration of your cos of omega mt it becomes sin omega mt divided by omega m right so it is our next equation then i will just multiply omega c inside the bracket so equation becomes omega c t right plus kf em right so once again omega c sin of omega m t divided by omega m now as per our previous discussion we know that if we I want to represent angular frequency in terms of your linear frequency then W or omega is equal to 2 pi f. So similarly here omega c becomes 2 pi f c omega m becomes 2 pi f m. So I will just substitute value of omega c in the second part as 2 pi f c and omega m as 2 pi fm i am just substituting the values for this omega c and this omega m not for this omega c and this omega m right so the equation becomes so i will just note down here the equation so omega c t plus k f e m now instead of writing omega c i am writing here 2 pi f c sin omega m t divided by 2 pi f m now this 2 pi in numerator and denominator gets cancelled and equation becomes omega c t plus k f e m f c sine of omega m t divided by f m right now we know that k e m f c is nothing but your deviation so delta is nothing but equal to k f e m into f c so this is one of the formula so we can write omega c t so rather than substituting k f e m f c i am just labeling this value as delta so it becomes so this equation becomes omega c t plus delta by f m sin omega m t now as per our previous lecture we know that delta by f m is equal to modulation index m f so which is nothing but your 
modulation index so i will substitute the value of delta by fm as mf so equation becomes theta t is equal to omega ct plus mf sin of omega m t right now through this integration part now we have achieved or we have get the value of theta t now just substitute this value of theta t in our first equation that is e f m is equal to e c sin theta t so we will substitute the value of theta t here and we will get final expression for e f m so expression or we can say that mathematical representation of fm is equal to efm is equal to now our previous equation it was ec sin theta of t as per equation number 2 now i am just substituting the value of theta t here so the equation becomes so after substituting the value of efm we will get the equation efm is equal to ec sin of omega ct plus mf sin of omega m of t so this is our final equation for mathematical representation of fm